Ash is a familiar and much loved tree in Scotland. Ash trees are common throughout the country, from the tall forests with a mix of species in the lowlands to wild and windswept ashwoods in the highlands. Ash trees provide a home for many insects, bird life, and over 500 different species of lichen. As well as being one of Scotland's best loved trees, ash also gives us beautiful hardwood timber and is highly valued as firewood. Very recently, a new disease that kills ash trees arrived in Scotland, called Calara or ash dieback. We don't know how quickly this will spread, or the full extent of damage it may cause to our native ash trees. One thing we do know is that it is unlikely to ever go away. How we respond to this disease is very important. The action we take now can make a difference to the impact ash dieback will have on our woodlands in the future. Old ash trees are important. Apart from being home to many animals and plants, they also produce the seeds that will grow into the next generation of trees. We hope that some mature trees and their seedlings may be resistant to the deadly ash dieback disease. Protecting these young seedlings for the future will include control of grazing animals. Despite the harsh reality of ash dieback, all is not lost. In the aftermath of the disease, we must decide what kind of trees we want to have in our woodlands, hedgerows and parklands. We can replace dead ash trees by planting a variety of different trees and over time create more diverse woodlands with trees of different species and ages. We must be careful to avoid introducing other tree diseases by choosing healthy young trees grown in local tree nurseries. A diverse ecosystem is a more resilient ecosystem, which is much better at surviving and adapting to whatever changes the future may bring.